Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetStreet.com and today we are going to do the quick hands-on review of the Infocus M812 which has been launched for a price of 20,000 rupees. 20,000 rupees especially for a brand like this is kind of high. Why you should invest 20,000 rupees in a phone like this maybe we can answer in this video again this is not a full review so don't consider my opinion as the final opinion in this one we will come up with more videos on this device and we will show you what all this device actually has so let's start with the review and first thing which i'm very much impressed with on this phone is the build quality the build quality and design is something which is very different and very nice on this one they have used metal frame all around at the back as well as on the edges which is a complete one single metal frame and you have the display part over there on the front so build quality is one of the most premium thing you will see on this one for the price point at which you are getting this phone they have also added very shiny chrome material over there which is looking nice again this is something which can be achieved only after good amount of processing of the metal part of the phone which is at the back side and these kind of things does take good amount of time and also it increased the overall cost of production. So this is quite commendable on the build quality department which they have done to make this phone look premium and it is rock solid phone in terms of the build quality. Let's take a look over the back side. On the back side we have got good camera over there which is a 30 megapixel autofocus camera. We have got dual LED flash. This is not a two tone flash. This is not a CCT flash either, but this is a dual LED flash which they have given. Again, it does not do any good, especially when it comes to the low light photos. We have 30 megapixel autofocus rear camera, which can record high definition video. We have secondary microphone over there. For noise cancellation, at the top, you have got a 3.5 mm audio jack. And on this side, you have got a small power button, which is a circular button. Slightly difficult to reach at times because Again, it is a very small minute button, but you can always recognize it without getting confused in between the volume locker and the power button. So you have two buttons over there for the volume locker, one for the volume up and one down. And these are all metal buttons. They give you a good amount of feedback. At the bottom, you have got mesh over there for the loudspeaker and you will just confirm whether you have two loudspeaker on this one. We have got a micro USB port for data syncing and charging and the primary microphone of the device is also in between these two so there has to be only one loudspeaker one of the mesh is just for the look and it actually has primary microphone inside on the front we can see that we have in focus branding over there on the front we have got 8 megapixel fixed focus camera we have got nice metal earpiece over there we also have proximity and inbuilt light sensors as far as touch back buttons are concerned they are within the display they are not within the body of the phone and that's how the phone look like in terms of the display size it has got 5.5 inch IPS LCD display which is good in terms of viewing angles and in terms of color protection it is good enough if not great. We have got 16 GB of internal storage and 3 GB of RAM on this device which is good for the price you are paying. So let's take a look over the software UI and the software UI is a custom UI which is pretty responsive and smooth and again it has been optimized to run on this device which is very good. InFocus has worked on the UI to make it more responsive. We have the settings UI. First of all we will find out the version of Android on this one. So let me go into about version and we have got Android 5.0.2. Again, we do have Lollipop, but don't expect future updates on this device unless this device is sold in big numbers. Let's take a look over the storage part of it and we will find out how much of storage is actually available. So we have 16 GB of storage and out of that 9.97 GB is available to the user, which is good. Let's go and find out the application scenario again in terms of the ram department we have got good amount of ram which is 3 gb and again out of that 1.3 gb is free so 1.3 gb of ram is free and again it is good enough for playing high definition games in as far as pre-installed applications are concerned approximately 1 gb of applications are coming pre-installed which includes some google application facebook as well and then we have some third party application like wps office so in case i would like to uninstall it i cannot uninstall these applications i can only disable them 
which is not a very good thing but that's how it is we have the camera interface and as you can see on the camera interface we have different kind of modes which are supported we have a beauty shot bus shot supported best shot is also there you have blink detection shot as well you can also take photos in hdr mode you have watermark shot in which you can apply a watermark over the photos you have object erase mode you have motion photo mode you have cinema craft mode panorama mode is also supported you do have a low light mode as well which is good you also have dynamic lighting mode so a lot of modes are there as far as photo modes are concerned for the camera if we take a look over the settings we can find out more information we have the option to control the white balance you can also control over the scene you can apply different kind of filters as well and here we have the shutter control you can actually have touch shutter control in which you can touch the screen and take the shot you do have smile shutter and wing shutter as well so all these things are there let me just try capturing a photo of this action figure in this low light scenario and we will take the photo from the rear camera again it does have a faster autofocus which is good let me disable the flash before i take this photo and maybe i can take it in front of you like this so i have to disable the flash yeah flash is disabled now so you have tap to focus and auto focus also work without even tapping on the screen let me take a photo from the front camera so we have taken the photo from the front as well as from the rear camera and let me show you these photos one by one so this is another shot which we have taken from the rear camera as you can see this is how it looks like in terms of the details again the photos are not very bright especially the ones you take in low light scenario even this one is looking good in terms of colors but in terms of brightness it is not very bright photo but the rear camera the rear camera is doing a good job i would say and as far as the front camera is concerned the front camera does have the option of detecting the face and again this photo is also not very bright and the front camera however is a wide angle camera and you can capture more people in case you would like to take group selfies from the front camera which is supported on this one some of the useful applications which are coming pre-installed on this phone including safe box which allows you to set password on things you also have power detective in which you can get an idea about the battery stats on the phone so again this one will give you more information about the battery and you can do power saving on the battery as well to get more backup you do have other application like file manager which is coming pre-installed so this device does support otg as well in case you would like to use that so all these applications which are coming pre-installed does help you to use this device effectively in day to usage this is all we have as far as the quick hands-on review of the infocus m812 in all this device looks good in terms of the build quality the software is also responsive as well as far as hardware is concerned there is one issue which i'm facing on the phone especially on this one which in actually is connected to the Wi-Fi right now I cannot actually install any application we do have Wi-Fi which is there in our office and every other device is able to connect to that Wi-Fi but on this device I cannot locate that Wi-Fi but the same thing I can do on my phone which is actually not a good sign for this phone so there might be some hardware problems with the Infocus M812 this is a prototype device which we are testing so there might be a problem with this one but i just wanted to bring this to your attention before i complete this hands-on review that's all from us do let us know if you have any specific question for this device we would love to help you you can like this video this video help you by clicking the like button below you can subscribe to our youtube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below thanks for watching this video this is abhishek signing off thank you